Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to a quick roundup of all the humble bundles available right now. So today is the 31st of October and I wanted to do a quick look at all the deals available last day of the month and so on. The other reason is um, Steam Halloween sale is active right now until the 2nd of November. So a lot of these games are on sale individually. So you can do a direct comparison and see where you are saving money. For example, this bundle here, Bandai Namco Fights, Price and Fantasy Bundle, this ends in less than two days. And um, Code Vein, for example, is on sale on Steam, but only the deluxe version, and it is $14. This whole bundle with all these games is $10. So even if you just wanted Code Vein, you could get the whole bundle, get the main game, and you know try out some of the other games, or if you have them, you could gift it to friends, trade it, whatever. So, uh, this is the first one. This ends in less than two days. I've already mentioned this multiple times, so I won't go into detail. But yeah, all games published by Bandai Namco. You have coupons for these two games, but these are all available. So, you have seven games and uh, two coupons. This one, I believe, is like a trilogy or something. So, plenty of value here. Next up is the Fright of Your Life game bundle. Now, of course, with the Halloween theme, they have scary bundles and stuff like that. So, this is another one, and this is also ending in just under four days, so three days and a bit. So, uh, also very good value. You have eight games for $13, Moons of Madness, Pathologic 2, Bendy and the Ink Machine, and the sequel, Bendy and the Dark Revival, Tormented Souls, Hidden Deep, Stasis, Bone Totem, and Alan Wake Collector's Edition. Now, Alan Wake 2 is either already out or just about to come out, uh, because I keep seeing uh, reports about it everywhere. So if you haven't played the past one, you can grab this, all of this for 30. And also, um, if you're new, all these are Steam keys. So you activate them on Steam. So it's not like another launcher or anything. These are directly for Steam. Next is the Sid Meier's Ultimate Collection. So a lot of Sid Meier's games, strategy stuff, and a lot of DLCs for Civilization VI. Now this is a bundle for fans of strategy, real-time stuff. So uh, some of the old games here are still pretty good. I was a big fan of Pirates, Railroads. I played these two as well. But this is the more modern stuff from here onwards. Now Civilization V, the complete edition, I think is about $19 on Steam. And the complete edition obviously has all the DLC. So this alone is fantastic. This was one of my favorites as well. They have a spin-off called Beyond Earth. This is also here. And then the new one, we have Civilization VI. And we have these six DLCs. All this here, six DLCs plus the base game, this is the Platinum Edition that you'll see on Steam. So you get the Platinum Edition, which is I think like $15 on its own. 14 something, 16 something. And then you get two more DLCs, which are like extra stuff, like expansion. So Platinum Edition of the game plus two DLCs and then complete editions of some previous games, uh, coupon, then old classics, all of this for 15. So if you are like say starting out on PC gaming, you are a fan of strategy games, this is a great bundle. Next is living in a simulation bundle. So these are games where you're trying to do some real life job in this sort of game. So whether it's firefighting, building a house, farming sim, house flipper where you sort of repair, renovate old houses and sell them, stuff like that, electrician simulator, lumberjack simulator, stuff like that. Fun games, I find them quite relaxing, especially if you put on a podcast or something and then play these games. So here you have two tiers, 10 and 15. 10 will get you these four games, which is decent, but I would recommend the 15 because you get quite a bit more. You get two extra games here, firefighting simulator and builder simulator. You get farming simulator 19, you get house flipper, and you get two DLCs for House Flipper. House Flipper was like a bit of an unexpected uh, success. And there's a sequel coming out on the 14th of December. So you may want to have a look at this. So $15 for this one. And then of course the big one that just came out a few days ago, uh, the Warner Brothers 100 Play the Legends game bundle. So this is a fantastic deal. Almost all of these games are AAA games and they are pretty much going for $1 a piece. So if you look at the $10 tier, all of this is for $10, and all of these are Steam keys. So Batman Arkham Asylum, Game of the Year Edition, Arkham City Game of the Year Edition, 
Arkham Knight Premium Edition, Arkham Origins. I think this is the, just the base version, but all the others are full versions. Then you have Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor Game of the Year Edition once again. Uh, Shadow of War Definitive Edition once again. Mad Max. Mad Max did not have like a limited edition type, so this is the full game. And then you have Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate Edition, Injustice 2 Legendary Edition. Mortal Kombat XL. So 10 games for $10. This is unbeatable in my opinion. Now, with this one, chances are very high that you already have some of these games. So for, for those of you who have them, my recommendation is to check Steam. Look at the price of those games that you are missing. Let's say you are missing three games. Let's say you're missing these three games. I'm pretty sure this is like eight or $9 on Steam. This is also like five at least, and this should be four. So if all of this combined is like 14, 15, and you can get everything for 10, this is still cheaper. Even if you already have these games, you could gift them to friends, share them, or you know just you know trade them for something else. If somebody else has keys from another bundle, uh, whatever you want. So this is fantastic, and for 15, you also get Back for Blood and Gotham Knights. These two might be a little weaker. Um, I've heard Gotham Knights is okay. Back for Blood, I tried a little bit from Game Pass and it seemed okay to me, but I played it casually, so I'm not aware of all the, any issues, but it seemed okay. So, yeah, all of this for 15 this is a fantastic bundle. So, yeah, so that's a quick recap of all the bundles. This one ends soon, so maybe have a look at this first. Less than two days. And, yeah, uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.